What is up guys? My name is Changer Danger. I'm out here on one of my favorite beaches. It is so sunny. I can barely keep my eyes open. So cut me some slack right there. Anyways, you can tell maybe we already went diving. So I got to get this intro in before Brittany completely falls asleep on the beach. Try to get her to get a clip of me with the crazy stuff that I found out there. And she was like, nah, I want to take a nap first. I thought you wanted to just leave. Like you're telling me to like walk that way to leave. Huh? Oh no, I just wanted a clip. So guys, we're going out diving one of my favorite spots. I've been having a ton of fun here lately. And I thought it was the right thing to come out, do a little cleanup. Oh my gosh, this cloud is blocking the sun. What a blessing, it feels so good. Oh. I can open my eyes again. Hello, everyone. So we're gonna go dive out here in this beautiful water. It was massive waves here the other day, like seriously 15 feet or something. And today is perfect for diving. So we're gonna go out there, see what kind of stuff we can find, see what the waves washed up. Because basically when the big waves come, they push all the deep stuff up. So there's a chance of finding like a massive shell or something like that. We've heard of it, we've seen it. It hasn't happened to us yet. So we're hoping that today is finally the day. And if I don't find any, any awesome treasure, uh, at least maybe I'll find some trash because you never know what kind of trash is gonna be out there. So let's go get in the water. And by the way, if you guys are coming from TikTok, smash subscribe um, and then leave a... Uh... And then also... <laughs> that was part way through my bit. You're rubbing your nose. And then also... Put the nose emoji if you came from TikTok. Okay, what, Brittany? <laughs> also, we have a vlog channel that we do post two videos a week on. Um, so if you want to see more of us and not only Shane's videos that he posts once a year, go follow that channel. We'll put it down below. Yeah, yeah. So hit the link to, to go to the other channel where we do post twice a week. Um, good vlogs, good mukbangs, good action, and even a bikini haul. So if you want to know what kind of yeah. bikinis Brittany wears, you can go there. Anyways, uh, let's go get in the water. We're going to go see what kind of trash and treasure we can find. You guys already saw in the thumbnail basically what we found. but. Let's go. All right, we back. Going down in the rocks here, gonna see what this is. It looks like it's some fishing line, attach it down there, and some rope. So the stuff kind of collects together. Sometimes it sticks to itself, sticks onto other pieces that it seems to find on its journey in the ocean. So I was able to yank that out of there. I think I got it all, but I'm not sure. And then next is a golf bowl and a piece of a soda can. No, it's a piece of plastic. And down here, there's this big thing stuck and it reveals a golf ball that rolls out of there. Kind of funny, it's like I set off a Rube Goldberg machine, but what is this cylindrical thing? Anyways, I'm gonna wear that like a bracelet and hang onto the two golf balls that I have and this piece of plastic. And then I found this metal pipe or something down here and another big piece of plastic. No idea what that could have gone to and another golf ball right nearby. I gotta excavate this one a little bit. So you can see the stuff gets buried out here because the waves are so big on other days. And so like rocks and rubble are flying around and on a day like today, it's all just chill and settled, but you can still sometimes find this trash poking out. So now I'm telling Mr. Turtle, do not put your head through this. You see this thing right here, boy? Don't put your head through that. That's how you get hurt. And then I'm back onto this uh, trying to get this fishing line off the coral here. You can see it's a big, big string of it. The natural state of fishing line, just like your wired headphones, is to get tangled. So it inevitably tangles itself and then it finds a nice piece of coral to stick onto. And the coral has so many little nubs on it that it gets really stuck on it. Like you can see for me, I have to kind of solve this puzzle to get it off. And even while I'm doing it, it's like so hard to do it. Uh, and so you can only imagine how stuck it gets while it's just floating around out there. So hopefully one day we can figure out a way to uh, let people still fish, but then also make the fishing line not get stuck out in the ocean. Oh my goodness, who is driving so many golf bowls out here? Because I just found another one. And then there's this mysterious piece of metal and it looks like it could be kind of sharp. On the way with it, I picked up a fishing weight. And so I'm worried about using my bare hand on this piece of metal because I don't want to cut myself. It's very easy to slice yourself on a piece of metal like this while you're working on it. But I was able to very uh, gently pull it out. And then while I was there, I thought I found a straw, but it's actually a piece of bone. So I'm just going to leave that. And yeah, so I've got that. Hey, Brittany. Oh, oh, sorry. I meant to grab your elbow. Hey, Brittany, come look at this. I want to show you something in my pants. Look down here. It's my balls. Look at my balls, Brittany, what do you think? So she's down there. 
uh, looking for treasure. If you're just listening to the audio, don't worry, nothing crazy happened. Um, but yeah, so she's down there looking for what she can find. She's on a treasure hunt right now, getting all kinds of shells. And she has been getting some really epic ones, but I didn't show all of what she got so far. And then I found this big piece of plastic down here and I was like, okay, how can I get this out without ripping it into shreds? Cause the worst thing than a piece of plastic is two pieces of plastic. So I'm just trying to carefully get that out, finally revealed it. And then what is it? A bag of Hawaiian ice, very sad to see that. So if you're coming out here at a party and you got your bag of ice, please remember guys, don't let it go into the ocean. Don't let it blow away. Properly dispose of all of your plastic as soon as you're done using it. Uh, and it's very satisfying to pour the sand out. So at least there's that. And then here's Britt with three fishing weights. Those must have been weighing her down a lot. And now it's time to get this soda can that is embedded into the rock. I would never seen that before. It like formed a circle and then another fishing weight and some kind of net and a golf ball and other fishing line stuff apparatus. I don't know what this thing is, but there's a lot of it. And then a very old fishing weight. You can see all that stuff growing on it piece of string of some type, not fishing line, and then uh, pulled it out of there in pieces. And then another fishing line attached to the coral. So it's another puzzle, guys. I gotta find the way to get it off without tearing at it because I don't want to like break the coral off. I do have a sharp tool with me, but uh, it's, it's like what I was saying before, like you don't want this to be in the multiple pieces. So I usually try to just get it off without doing any cutting or slicing or anything and just slowly work on it. And it's kind of a fun game anyways. It's kind of a good way to work on my breath hold. So I'm just enjoying it down here cruising. So I'm not breathing while I'm doing this, by the way, just in case if you thought I was at the surface breathing, I am underwater holding my breath. So next time you see one of these uh, sequences, you could try holding your breath with me and see if you'd be able to get the thing off. So got that one, no problem. And then this one, it was kind of old. So I just ripped at it, that one too. Like if it's like barely on there and it's really old, I'll just rip at it because sort of like you can tell when it's good to work on it, when it's good to rip at it. So that was a, that was a ripper for sure and not a worker. And then Brittany alerted my attention. She had something. In the background, a turtle is swimming, but what's Brittany got? A freaking treasure haul. You found Dory? So Britt got the mother load, Dory, and a bunch of crazy shells. That one's so big. Oh, it's so warm. So I'm going to grab all those, put them into my pocket. I think she had to help me and then lots more fishing weights. So remember guys, these fishing weights are weighing me down. This is like the fifth or sixth golf ball. Uh, if you're watching this, leave a comment predicting how many golf balls total I found. It's at least six, I think. So get your predictions in there. We'll see how many more we find out here. Got some kind of a bag or something. This is, I think there's a bag to a folding chair. Just another reminder to everyone, don't leave your trash and let it fly into the ocean. Uh, that's a paper straw. It's actually pretty rare to find paper straws out here. Maybe they uh, fall apart too fast and that's why I don't find them. And then look at this like fishing line. It, it looks like someone weaved it in like to try to get it just as tangled as possible. Like cannot believe how tangled this fishing line is. And it's just lucky, honestly, that the fishing line is getting caught on the coral and not getting caught on turtles. Cause you guys know in my other videos, I have removed fishing line from a turtle before. Uh, lots of my diver friends have done the same. And so it's just very sad that this fishing line is getting left out here. And there's not really a good solution for how to not have this happen because nobody want, no fishermen want to do this. You know, they want to protect the ocean. So here's another golf ball. So add that to the counter, guys, one more. And then a pretty cool shell just chilling there in the sand. I checked it to see if anything was living in it and it's all good so I can take it. And then some kind of fishing line, something just sitting there in the sand, easy to grab. And then another one that just got barely attached. And then here it is, the beast of the day, this big tire that got caught in the reef. You guys watched my last video, there was a tire caught in there, but it was so buried and so embedded, I didn't even bother to pull on it. 
Um, there was also lots of sea urchins around, so I would have got really hurt trying to get it. But these ones were out by the surface, not the surface of the water, but just out of a cave, not, not buried in the sand or anything. So I'm able to pull them up. So basically, I'm just calculating, like, how am I going to do this? Like, I got two big tires. I'm not exactly close to shore. You guys can see it in a second right here. Um, and not shallow either. So pretty far to get back to shore with these guys, but I'm gonna find a way, I'm determined. So we're picking this one up, uh, looking around for the other one right now, maybe. There it is. So just hanging on to the one right now, seeing how the swimming feels with it. Now, obviously I'm a lot slower. These tires are probably 20, 30 pounds each and uh, add a lot of water resistance to my swimming. I'm not able to be efficient while I'm swimming with them. So I've got one in one hand, one in the other. I only have one glove with me, so I got a raw dog, one of these tires, hopefully not cut my hand on the barnacles. And you can see I'm kicking so hard and I'm still not even at the surface. So I'm like getting gassed out right now, trying to pull these tires up. Finally made it up and I was like, okay, this is at least possible. Unlike with the rope, when I got to the surface, I was like, I can't keep holding this. Like, this is too heavy. I don't think I can do it. So I got these guys at the surface, just catching my breath right now, swimming along, trying to see how far I can make it. Cause it's gonna be a long swim all the way to the shore. And I think finally I'm getting gassed out. I'm getting gassed out in real life right now too, talking straight through <laughs> this 10 minutes so far. Um, but I want to do it for you guys. I want to get through this video so I can get it out. Finally, I realized if I put some air in the tire, it's a little bit easier. Sort of like how I need some air in my lungs right now. So you can hear that heavy breathing through the snorkel. I'm just fighting my way. And then this is a little reef section where I was like, hey, that might be a cool spot to go dive at so making my way almost there got air in the tire could kind of rest on it actually and breathe out on the surface which isn't so bad and then i fast forwarded didn't want you guys to have to suffer through that whole swim back it was like maybe 200 yards like not that far but far enough to be swimming with the tire so finally back up on shore walking it up this little couple is here on a date or something and i'm here throwing tires up on the beach that i found in the water Try to get that crab back in. I missed the, his friend there. He climbed back into the tire. So hopefully he was able to find his way. If not, uh, hopefully something could eat it. And so finally hiked this guy up. Not as hard to pull up as that big rope from last time, but uh, yeah, not easy either. So we finally got that guy up. I'm calling for Brittany, telling her, I found the shell zone. You gotta come over. Try to hit her with the whistle, meep, meep, boop, boop, right here. This is where the shells are, Brittany, come through. And then I'm already hitting it. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I missed a shell that was like a really nice one. Uh, looking at the collection later, I think we got it, but I just, it's so annoying to me to look at the footage and see shells that I missed. So if you guys see any shells that I missed, point them out, let me know uh, what they looked like. And I can feel even stupider for not seeing these shells that are down there that are like so obvious in the footage, but you never know where your eyes are going when you're looking back at the footage because you could be looking at totally different, different stuff down there. And it's just like an eye spy game with how much debris and rubble and coral and all this other stuff. I just saw another cowrie that I missed. I don't know how I'm missing them and seeing them now, but that's okay. <laughs> So Brittany came to join the shell search. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering about the shells that we take, so we only take ones that have absolutely nothing living in them. And there's certain types of shells that hermit crabs are more likely to live in. And we usually don't take those ones. Dang, how did I miss that? Good job. So the best hermit crab shells are not the cutest shells that we want to keep. We mostly take the calories and the hermits just like don't do very well in them. So yeah, this is where the good one is. 
I know a lot of people are worried about that. They always say stuff about taking shells and all that, but it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I think what would be worse is like if we were taking them and selling them, but we just take them for our personal collection and only take the very best ones and leave the, the not so good ones out here. So there's always gonna be more shells. So I'm going down, I found like four or five in one dive. And it's like, it's cool when you see one from the surface and go grab it, but to go down and get a combo like that, that's just epic. So I'm down there picking up what I can find, trying to clear it out so that Brittany can't find any, cause she's always the one finding all the shells and I have to pick up all the trash. So today was my treasure day. Finally got some good ones. And then Brittany's going down there just to make sure I didn't miss a single shell. And I think she found one, but like you see, could see she only grab one thing so I don't know if she got too many down there oh but it looks like a good one so you can see that we pick them up just to look at them uh, I wasn't sure if Brittany might want that one because it's big but I think it's pretty ugly so I said put it down and then she gave me two more shells that she found and what are those some sunglasses <laughs> and so I'm gonna go down it's back to trash duty I have my bag, gonna put those sunglasses in there that she gave me, and then grab this tire, and it's time for the second tire mission back home. And by home, I mean shore. Not taking this all the way to my house, I don't want it. Uh, and so just picking out the coral debris that's stuck in there, because that's only gonna make it heavier, so I might as well just get everything out of it that I can. And I was like, Brittany, look at this be good tire that I have. And it got some air in there right away. I learned from last time, don't carry it full of water. Get some air inside. Um, and then just showing you guys how hard I'm kicking, trying to get in, because you can't really see uh, from the movement on the ground. Anyways, I grabbed this shell and it was kind of stuck to the bottom indicator of something living in it. So checked it real quick, put it back. Definitely something living in there. I only checked it because it's Brittany's favorite type of shell. I could kind of already tell just from looking at it, it had something living in it. Um, so yeah, we don't keep those and fast forward back to shore. We're climbing up, finally done with this mission today. It's not all over yet, so don't go anywhere, but we did get the tire out, the evil beast one and two at one of my favorite beaches. So just so cool that I could come here and uh, give back to this uh, island and this water that have provided for me with food and entertainment getting to come out here surfing and diving and everything so just really grateful for that and if you are a person who is diving or surfing or whatever um it kind of goes without saying that you just got to do your part out here and you know do what you can to help protect it and preserve it and make it better for yourself and for everyone else to enjoy so back in the water grab my bag gonna go pick up some more shells or trash or something Brittany's still out here so i gotta go meet up with her and she hit the jackpot once again some really awesome shells cleaning up after me at that first spot that i went to and so we didn't have a lot of time today. We'd already been diving for a couple hours. So found that octopus and just put them back. Just wanted to show Brittany really quick that I found one. Um, and just check down here for shells one last time. Found a couple more uh, cause you know, like I had missed them before. So might as well go back and try to find some more. And then a couple more pieces of trash. Uh, like a piece of metal, a piece of plastic, and then wanted to see what that was, just a rock. I thought it might be a shell, so I had to check on it, but it was not. And so all this goes in the bag. Don't wanna miss that string. Gotta grab that real quick, put that in there too. And then we should be on our way back to shore now. We're gonna review all of the crazy stuff that we found. You guys won't believe the amount of shells that Brittany got today. Um, and I also haven't properly disposed of those tires yet. So I still got to take those all the way back up. So here it is guys, grabbing onto them. Look at how beautiful this beach is. Like just blue water, mountains right next to it. Pristine, empty. Is it heavy? It's sharp. So I just want to do my part to keep it clean. Hey Shane, are those heavy? Oh my God, I'm dying. Do you want me to help? Uh, Psych. This, this is your workout since you don't go to the gym with me. What? I'm being punished? Oh, this is heavy. I know. There's 
so much dive weights at uh, the golf balls in there. I found golf balls too. Nice. There's the trash can, we just gotta make it right there. It's kind of a hill. You found a trash bag. The bag had holes in the bottom, so I tied the bottom <laughs> so the stuff wouldn't fall out. Okay, here comes the balls. That didn't include my balls. You have balls? In the black bag, there was two balls. And this is all fishing weights, so I'm gonna leave them on the side. Ooh, and I see a hair tie. Okay, I'll put the fishing weights on the side. This one he's like, no, nah, I don't need them. Oh, and the one piece of treasure, guys, finding Dory that I found it has some PCB in it for some reason. Uh, I don't know what this did. Maybe it was a talking Dory or something. Um, very strange. Bye bye. Okay, so we're gonna go see what treasure Brittany found. You guys saw my trash, the two tires. A shout out to the lifeguard for helping me with those tires, getting them out to the to the big dumpster. And uh, we're gonna go see what treasure Brittany found. She found some really amazing shells I wanna show you guys. So let's go look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did that all fit in there? I have no idea. <laughs> Gosh, Brittany, look at the size of this hole. I'm so stoked that we haven't found this many shells in a while. I know. Kind of, okay, so they kind of look bad because they dry out, right? And the minerals like are on them, but in the water they look a lot prettier, but I can get all this off. Right. So some of them like look all crusty, but like I can fix it. So like, some of them don't look great right now. To ignore that. This is my favorite one probably. That's your favorite one? Yeah. I gotta say, Britt, we have different tastes in shells. Okay, yeah. So the miter is my probably top pick. Um, I found this one, and she found that one. Yeah, I see. To me, this is like this is like a low tier one, and then no, miter is top tier. I don't know. I just don't like it that much. This one's really cool. That's the biggest one that uh, we found today. Britt got I that, found one. that one. Too. And then another miter, but you another, see this one's like one. Yeah, down. so look at the difference in the quality of these two. Um, you can tell it's just like rubbed off. Yeah, bit. so this one's nice, and then this one is like almost to the point where I wouldn't pick it up, but it still has a good amount of color, so we keep it. Found a couple of these ones. These are kind of um, junk, but they're good filler for the, um, the jar. For the jar. The purple is pretty. You right. Know, it adds purple. Yeah. And then like I can clean all of these. Like they look worse than they did in the. And I, I really like these loaf of bread ones. We got, these two are different. Yeah, different. Um, but Britt found this one, it looked really nice out in the water. So yeah, we got some good days. stuff out there. We forgot to close out the video. Oh well, it's okay, and the car looks good. There's better audio. Yeah, we have great audio and lighting. So Look we wanted to say goodbye my right mask. here. My hair is destroyed, why is this so short? All right guys, just me on the YouTube what? channel. So I had super fun today. It was cool going out there, finding crazy stuff. Um, I love picking out stuff at different places. Like finding the Dory thing was so cool. Yeah. Cause it's just like, what? I wish Why I got a that? clip of that. That was so, so random. Away, I, know. I don't even know where you were. It took me so long to find you. Up. Yeah, we were both just on missions out there, finding stuff, finding our own paths, our own but holes. The, the hole that you found was a good, that, that was a good hole. <laughs> yeah. So. Before we went, I was like, Britt, the shells are gonna be outside and her friends were already here 
getting the shells on the inside. So she was like all like, oh, I don't want to be here. This is a total no, waste of time. I didn't want to not be here. I was just bummed because I knew they were going to get good. I want to get all the good you shells. You were Mr. Grumpy Gills. I want to get all the good shells. No one else is allowed to get them. You're the same way when, when Haley found the one good shell, you're like, yeah, yeah. So anyways, it was super fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. We love picking out trash. Um, I love, wait, I love picking out trash. No, Brittany like loves it. picking out treasure. I like it a little bit. Yeah. It's so fun here because it's different. It's, it's really fun. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate you guys support watching this video, um, and dropping a big thumbs up on it. And I'll see you guys next time and make sure you subscribe so you see the next time we're picking up big trash in the ocean. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. Bye.